it, it's a, a quasi street course, right? So when, especially in the infield, when something goes wrong, you know, you see you see things happen. Uh, but I still feel like you know the fast cars are the fast cars, and, and you know it's racing, so anything can happen. But you know those cars can stay up front and, and kind of dictate their race. You know, Talladega, it's it's you're just along for the ride half the time. Thank you. You're the AJ. fourth. Go ahead. Okay, AJ. Um, next year on the 2024 schedule, the 10 races in the playoffs. We start off with Atlanta, you know, Watkins, Glen, and Bristol, and we got Rogan and Talladega in the second round. Is it more of a two rounds? Of don't know what wild card round, so to speak, or how do you feel about the way they've stacked up and having two road courses? Yeah, I mean, I, I think everybody. Every driver's got a different opinion of what their strengths are and, and what they want to do and don't want to do. You know, to have two super speedways, because you can call Atlanta that, mm -hmm. and things like that. You know, it's, it's, it, there's a lot that can happen, mm -hmm. you know, and, and sometimes not so much in the driver's control. But, you know, at the end of the day, the schedule is the schedule and we're all going to race it. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, and, and as I said, it's every driver's got an opinion on whether they like it or they don't. You know, to me, uh, it, it's, it doesn't really change anything. You know, of course, if we were in the playoffs, it's the road courses definitely help. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I, I don't put a lot of stock in it when the schedule comes out of what's good and what's bad. We all got to race the same thing. I just thought you might like having two road course races in the 10 final 10 races it's nice you just got to get there first right yeah that's right. right so that that that's what it's all about i don't just like you know us trying to get in the playoffs this year you don't worry about what's in the playoffs you know you're worrying about just trying to get there so as i said if if that were to happen you get in then okay it kind of lines up nice for you but yeah you first got to get there first. yeah okay you're the four-time defending winner of today's race will you stick around here and watch today's race and then just talk about jordan taylor's adjustment to xfinity uh no i won't stick around uh if we're gonna be honest i'm gonna go home and, and relax uh, but you know definitely have been been you know on the xfinity side of it trying to help however i can you know i've, I've always said that i don't I don't ever force myself on any of the drivers, but I'm always here. Like if they want to talk, I'm gonna I'm gonna do whatever I can to help help our guys. So Daniel and I have talked a lot, and you know Jordan, we know what, what kind of what kind of race car driver he is when it comes to that. So you know his big adjustment is still just trying to learn to drive an Xfinity car, and then um, at the end of the day, just learn this racetrack as quick as possible.